Hey golfers, Drew Mahol here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a master club fitter with us at Second Swing. We're going to be testing uh, some clubs today, some tailor-made P790 irons. I've got the titanium model here. You've got the standard model. Uh, both are great players distance options. Uh, the titanium model, kind of in that premium package uh, for golfers out there. Now, Thomas, I know you've tested the P790 standard model uh, quite a bit. Um, what are your impressions of that, and what do you think maybe we'll find in this test? Yeah, so uh, 2019 P790 model, it's been a great distance uh, player's iron. It mm -hmm. usually goes pretty far, pretty pretty straight. Great look down at, feels really, really subtle, mm -hmm. uh, solid off the club face. The loft on this club is at 30 and a half degrees. Um, the titanium head is 28 and a half degrees. So the first sure. thing I may notice is the titanium might may go a little bit further mm -hmm. distance wise. Um, keep in mind, 30 and a half is a little bit stronger than what I, how far I normally hit my seven iron as well. Um, so I would maybe expect it to maybe spin just a little bit less, go a little bit further, mm -hmm. have a little, little more ball speed and a very high right. smash factor. Well, yeah, hey, let's get after it, huh? Sounds good. Okay, Thomas, what are we starting with here? Got the 2019 P790. Okay. Yep. And uh, what's the shaft you're playing in that right now? Uh, Project X LZ 6.5, 125 grams is what I've been playing in my clubs for the last couple of years. Okay. So the same shaft I normally play. We'll test uh, both heads with both with the same golf shaft. So okay. it's no bias. Just left the face a little bit open on that one. It's carried two nine uh one ninety. So far on the dispersion, you're you're right. Not necessarily the the shaping that you're looking for. But yeah, went the exact same distance both times, which is which is definitely a bonus. I'm not used to that one I leave out to the right. That's yeah. for sure. Same thing. Closer. I feel feel like it stayed pretty straight though. Well, the uh, distance is pretty consistent so far. Yeah, right about 190 carry every single time. Felt solid. Yeah. Yeah, that was your probably the best strike so far. One four five smash. Yeah. Really interesting that today I. Am I unable to turn the ball over? <laughs> yeah, but I know you like to hit that uh, the baby draw. That's kind of your go-to trajectory. And yep, we're only five swings in though. Looked like I was hitting it, carrying about 190 on average. My mm -hmm. normal seven iron goes about 178 carry. Okay. Um, keep in mind my normal seven iron is 34 degrees aloft on it. P79 2019 P790 is 30 and a half degrees aloft. Okay. So that's why it's going just a little bit further. Sure. Essentially okay. every Degree of loft is about three yards. Got it. Yeah, okay. So it's going a little bit further because of the loft here. Um, let's hit a couple with the sure. tailor made uh, P790 tie now. And that club is going to be just a little bit stronger yet. Yep. So, a couple of degrees, I believe, yep. stronger in loft, 28 and a half. 28 and a half, yep. Um, so, I mean, looking at your numbers briefly here, height around 120, a little higher than you, I think, would like. Um, in, I guess in what you're used to hitting with your 7 iron. And then, yep. yeah, carry about 190, and then your distance, you know, right around 190, a little under 200 on average, so. Because I'm leaving the face a little bit open, the ball is flying just a little bit higher because it's going a little bit to the right. That's why it's just flying maybe a little higher than I'm used to flying it, normally around about 110. Okay. Yeah, so that's about 120 on average, right? Yeah. All right, so let's try the TaylorMade P790 tie now and see how it compares yeah. to the 2019 P790. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. We'll see what you know titanium construction can really do for the for your distance, for your swing. Yep. Um, I mean, I'm very curious about this one because I know that the P790 is already packed with distance. I've seen you hit, you know, you're hitting that thing 200 yards, seven iron, and uh, obviously the stronger loft here, so you should get a little bit of distance, but we can see maybe. Yep. exactly how much of a difference there is here with titanium. Yeah, the P790 has been a, a great golf club for a good distance players uh, category. Yeah. Um, now this, you know, the titanium comes in now more of a, in a premium yeah. um, package, essentially. So yep. Be a little bit pricier. Um, let's see if it's 
worth paying a few yeah. extra dollars for, though. Yeah. <laughs> Same bull flight. Yeah, you got that, the face angle's pretty consistent there at three, but uh, what do you notice in terms of, you know, appearance at a dress compared to the standard P790? Um, the color for one, the color with the uh, titanium head, mm -hmm. it's a little bit, uh, you know, looking down as, as grayer. Okay. Um, it's more of kind of like a satin chromia finish yeah. with, the with the 2019 P790. Okay. This is a little bit... Yeah, it looks quite gray, and also looks maybe just a little bit larger um, from kind of heel to toe, and okay. maybe a slightly larger the top line okay. than top line as well. Notice anything in feel so far? They honestly feel feel pretty pretty similar. Yeah. This does feel a little bit lighter. Okay. To me, if if anything, it feels like it's just a touch lighter. But not a major difference. That one was hit very solid. It was hit solid. Face club face is just staying open today. You're noticing, I'm noticing in sound, like it feels like the titanium one's a little bit quieter than the standard P790. I don't know if you're noticing that either. Yeah, I mean, both of them feel pretty muted, um, pretty pretty quiet versus some other clubs that are coming off the club base feel maybe a little yeah. bit more solid. Um, they feel solid though. I yeah. mean, both of them just feel like the bull is going far. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah ah, you can just notice it, yeah. Might be a little straighter. That was crunched. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That smash out 148 is pretty uh, pretty nuts. Yeah, that was a much better swing, that one. The other ones, I was just, for some reason, leaving that face kind of a little bit open coming through. Um, let's jump back to the okay. 2019 P790 now and hit five more with each one. Yeah, this club head looks a little bit smaller looking down at it for sure. That one sounded like you bombed it. Yeah, I was going to say, this is just feels, you know, it, it feels solid off the face, but it does sound just a little bit louder yeah, than the Yeah, I can the definitely titanium. tell the difference. Yep. yep. Just maybe a little more clickier sound. Mm-hmm. That might have, might have actually been able to turn over. Mm -hmm. The circles are looking pretty similar right now. They are looking very, very similar, yeah. <laughs> There's been one shot with each club that I've been able to turn over right. and all the rest have stayed out to the yeah. right. That was a better swing too. Oh yeah. You got one more with that one? Yep. Oh yeah, there's your trajectory right there. Yeah, that one was a little nicer too. All right, let's see if we can catch up with the yeah. P790 tie. Both clubs are built with some tungsten weighting in the sole uh, to you know bring that center of gravity down, get that ball launching in the air. Both 7-iron so far are launching a little bit higher than maybe you're used to with seven iron you play which should be expected with a player's distance iron versus i know you play like a muscle back blade yep yeah they uh i mean definitely feel off the club face it feel like it's it jumping pretty mm -hmm. it's jumping pretty hard both of them just feel it just feels so solid off yeah. the face i mean there's a reason why i play you know the the p790 is my driving iron um because i just feel so good off the off the mm -hmm. face and go so far and go yeah. straight so i can't complain with that all right
So that's five more with this one, and then we'll take a look at all the numbers. That one, how that one feel? Because it was, it seemed like it was really quiet. Yeah, it's it's noticeable that this yeah. is muted versus a clickier yeah. sound with a. I'm I'm, I'm nice. a little surprised at the difference. Now, I, again, completely different materials, so yep. I, uh, we can imagine that there'd be a difference, but they're still built with kind of the same purpose and sort of the same shaping. Um, you know, maybe just a little bit larger in the titanium model, but still, there's just I think there's a major difference in sound just from my perspective here. Yeah, when you say larger, it, you know, going back and forth both times now, I've noticed it's, it is significantly li larger with the yeah. um, titanium head versus the mm -hmm. just the, the standard 2019 head. The smash factors or seem to be just by initial impression it seems like your smash factor is a little bit higher with the titanium um, that's to be expected when you got less so loft on a golf club yeah um, you would expect the smash factor okay. to be potentially more higher yep. yeah that's right two degrees of loft difference two degrees there. of loft difference yes all right one more Very nice. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, interesting pattern going on there between the two of them, for sure. I mean, I left a lot out to the right, and then both of them I was able to maybe turn over a little bit. But what's interesting with the uh, P790 tie is couldn't really get it get, get left of that line, right? Of that straight line. That one felt pretty solid to me, but it was still just a little bit to the right. All right, so let's take a look at some numbers here with these sh shots that I hit with both the. P790 tie and the 2019 P790. Um, first thing I always like to look at is dispersion. I mean, mm -hmm. you can, if you take a look at this left screen, notice the yellow circle a um, little smaller than the white circle was. Yeah. Um, so the P790 tie was a little bit more consistent. But what's interesting is with the P790 tie, I really couldn't get that ball to draw. Mm -hmm. It was just, I mean, if you look at right here, that's the, probably the center line right there. Just yep. that was the furthest to the left, but it, was, it wasn't left of that line. So it was mm -hmm. kind of just staying a little to the right, which was really interesting. But you can complain with the, dis with the dispersion. Um, we took out one shot per, per club here, just so we could, you know, we had one outlier with each club. Yeah. So these are the best nine of 10, um, but you can notice, you know, dispersion a little bit tighter, so interesting. Um, if we take a look at kind of numbers kind of working left to right, notice the club speed Let's just break this down here. Notice the club speed averages. Um, the P790 tie and the TaylorMade P790, 91.7. So yeah. they were exactly the same. Pretty consistent in terms of speed. Pretty consistent con in terms <laughs> of club speed. Um, both you know, were at standard length, 37 inches, 7-iron seven, seven length. Um, very, very consistent between the two of them. What's interesting to note is the TaylorMade P790 tie did get a little bit more ball speed, about one mile an hour more mm -hmm. ball speed. Um, so you would maybe expect one mile an hour more ball speed with a little bit less loft on the club. Okay. Less loft is going to create more ball speed and should potentially equal more distance. Mm -hmm. What's interesting to note, if I jump over the distance, you'll notice they both went the exact same distance actually. It's because I was leaving the face a little bit open with the, with the P790 tie, so it was right. flying a little higher and a little spinnier compared to what it would do if, I, if both of them were, had the exact yeah. same club face at impact. Now, I'm no robot, that's, that's for sure, <laughs> but I, you know, I tried my best to try and give the same 10 swings with each club mm -hmm. there.
Um, Smash Factor, 145, 146. Very, very efficient with both those clubs. That's very, very solid for a mm -hmm. seven iron. Uh, tour average is about 1.38 um, okay. for a seven iron. Now, keep in mind, tour players, their, their seven iron lobs yeah. are about 34 degrees. Right. We're testing 28 and a half and 30 and a half degrees. Plus, so their models, too, are not a player's distance model for a seven iron. That's going to be more of a player's iron, too. Correct, so. yes. Yep, so they definitely kind of noticed. Obviously, very, very strong, going pretty far, very efficient golf clubs. Yeah. I mentioned leaving the face a little bit more open with the P790 for some for some reason. Mm -hmm. That's why it was launching about one degree higher. So 17.5 versus 18.8 mm -hmm. degrees aloft. Um, if we look at spin, normally what I would expect with a uh, club that's got two degrees less loft on it is to maybe have maybe 200 RPMs less spin if it was a kind of pure test versus you know, yeah. robotic test if possible. You'll notice they basically were spinning right around the same about 5250 plus or minus a few, but right around about the same between the two of them right there. So yeah. that is, bec the P790 was just spinning a little bit more than I may, may have expected because I left the face a little yeah. bit more open. So if you look right across on the right, you'll notice the curvature was 14 feet left to right versus three feet yeah. to left to right. So that's, when you both curving more left to right, it's gonna spin more. Yep. So that's why that's the case. Um, carry distance for both of them, one, None 193 and 194 going 200. Um, we'll notice the total distance with the 2019 P790 was a little bit um, more, even though it, you know, because I was running out a little bit further because yeah. of the landing angle being a little bit shallower and height a little bit sure. less. That's, once again, club face angle 2.7 degrees is open with the TaylorMade P790. 1.8 degrees, uh, titanium head, sorry, and then 1.8 degrees mm -hmm. open with the 2019 P790. So that's essentially why that ball was yeah. maybe not going as far as we may have expected. Right, now I wanted to ask you, because we talked about the club head differences, P790 titanium head was a little bit thicker, a little bit longer blade length to kind of built in a little bit more of a game improvement shape than the P790, which is pretty much a player assistant shape. Would that, and I know you like to draw the ball, so did that impact your ability maybe to turn that club face over? I think it absolutely, for sure did, 100%. I, I had a hard time turning that turning yeah. that club over. You know, I talked about how that titanium head looked larger quite a few times during the kind of when, when we're hitting shots. Yeah. You'll notice, you know, I started trying to fight it a little bit. You know, my dispersion got a little bit wider left to right because I was trying to, I, I was reacting to that one that was going yeah. to the right every time. You'll notice these three white dots here with the 2019 P790. I was able to get those things to turn over a little yeah. bit. Um, and that's also part of the reason why the P790, 2019 P790 is showing that it's competing versus the tie because I've got these three that were yeah. going a little bit longer and left there too. But there's, there's no question I was able to get that club to turn over a little bit easier than I was with the uh, 790 yeah. titanium head. Mm -hmm. So a little more forgiving maybe Definitely more game improved and iron with the titanium head, designed to fly a little bit straighter on those offset, off, off center hits. Yep. Probably for me, maybe not quite as workable as I would need. Right. Yeah. But for a player that's looking to hit the ball as straight as they possibly can, you know, in that premium category, the titanium iron head would be a great option to get right. the ball flying as straight as yeah. possible. And that dispersion yep. is still pretty darn good. Uh, you're hitting the ball 200 yards, and that's still a pretty tight area there. It's just that you weren't able to quite turn over like you like to do with uh, your current irons. Uh, and then the P790 uh, standard one kind of, imp you know, it uh, portrays your shaping a little bit better, a little bit smaller. Yep. Maybe able to turn it over just a little bit more for those players out there that do like to, uh, you know, try and shape their shots, uh, you know, when they can versus, like you said, somebody with a titanium head could, you know, put together a straighter ball flight more consistently if that's what they're going for. Yeah, absolutely. I think both a great distance um, players are in category. Obviously, the P790 Titanium may be a little bit more game improvement compared to the 2019 P790, but both great options to pick up a few yards, mm -hmm. get that ball flying a little bit straighter. I think the 2019 P790 might just be a little bit more workable, being more, slightly more players are versus mm -hmm. the Titanium head. Well, Thomas, thanks for joining us today. That was some great data and uh, give a lot of great information for golfers out there. Sounds good.